this is a very simple presentation, but the work to do this was not <laughs> simple and it's a, a very hard work. Uh, and it's um, managing reproductive corals in captivity. That is a um, thing that we need to improve when we was working with our main project. And the things with the stony coral tissue disease is that in Mexico, we um, uh, uh, saw the, the first events in 2018. And then we uh, get so many meetings and actions to do then that um, action plan where too many things were uh, planned to do, but in the things that my institution, the National Fisheries Institute was involved, was in to establish a genetic bank of living tissue in captivity, because we have some facilities in, 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 the, in, in Afesca, and um, for those species susceptible to disease. And uh, the thing was uh, to make a collection of affected colonies and some ones that we suppose that resilient colonies because they don't have the disease. And uh, the things that we happened later was the uh, possibility to have sexual reproduction in captivity. Then, the first thing we um, make the action was to found that uh, um, colonies that for to rescue, and we launched this uh, warning to found the colonies um, because at, at that point the some species like Dendrogera cylindrus was very rare, and many of them was with a lot of disease. And uh, then we made a um, very uh, coordinated uh, action co with collaboration with different uh, institutions. And this um, beautiful infograph um, represent the main steps. And the thing is in that, um, I can see here, <laughs> and when the uh, stony coral tissue disease was uh, were in some place, uh, the things is to rescue health colonies. One of them, uh, without sign of uh, of disease, or in a big colony, take a, a little piece of the healthy uh, tissue for to rescue. And uh, also the, the other strategy was to um, collect digamits. But the thing where the Inapesca was involved is in rescue fragments of colonies um, to uh, maintain in the aquariums. And in, in the aquariums uh, have the possibility to uh, um, have the sexual reproduction. And these are the uh, aquariums that we have at Inapesca, and th they are separate for uh -huh. um, these big uh, aquariums are six meters diameter, and we call the mesocosmos. And here we put only the colonies that they don't uh, present any signs of uh, the disease in, in the field. Then we the think that are the resilient colonies and uh, they are healthy. And in, in, um, in a building, uh, inside the building, we have this kind of uh, aquariums that we call the quarantines. And here we put the fragments of the colonies with some uh, disease in, in, in the sea. And they had uh, uh, treatments with um, the antibiotic 
if they um, present the um, the the disease. And what happened? Oh, I'm sorry. And for this, the, the summary is that we uh, rescue 83 colonies from 14 species that in, in, the, in 17 sites uh, from 62 different genotypes. And this is some examples of the rescue species. And in three years, we protect 28 colonies of uh, reproductive size. Uh, when we were, were working with the, the fragments and the colonies that we rescue, we saw that 28 colonies have the uh, metric size and we take a look of them in the systems and 10 uh, of those colonies have a spawn in our systems. And uh, he, here is uh, the um, nets that we put on them in, and these are the um, uh, species that we monitoring in, in those um, um, trials. And uh, that's one are the once we uh, get some spawning. And this is a video in the um, Diploria labyrinthiformis that, uh, that it was the first one that we saw spawning in our aquariums. And we were, were very, very happy with that. And also in the uh, quarantine um, aquariums, Dendrogida cylindrus, uh, a male, um, a spawn in, in the aquarium. And we were very happy. If you could um, hear the, the sound of that video, it's a lot of, oh, wow. <laughs> there, there is not the sound for, <laughs> don't get trouble. And this is the many, um, uh, institutions and collaborations, and some of them uh, in the um, Pseudotorigoria, Pseudodiplorestrigosa and Dendrogera cylindros, is, uh, we get some of the samples to um, the UNAM laboratory from the Dr. Anya Panasak, and they were preserved. And th this is an excellent co collaboration with different um, institutions involved. And um, we are very happy with this project. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>